stretch out your right hand. I prophesy to your life. In you've the name of labor. Jesus. Where you've not labor, where you've not labor, where you've not labor. I said, go and read. It's telling you the situation you are going through. That is a mountain. Then I have a faith as small as a mustard seed. I will decree a thing and it shall be established. Yes. Aha. 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 Recover. Amen. It's not about your age. It's not about your size. The experience is what matters. You know why I like my people? They will say something, they will repeat. Eh, this is the only people that I see they will be lying, they will be laughing at you, laughing with you. What are you telling me? I know my people. So you have to be ready. You see, the truth says, you see, when you see people that hide behind the truth, they don't succeed. Say it, there's no how you say it, you say it. When we say it, then we know it. Don't you know, as children of God, our mental picture determines our, 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 our blueprints. How people look at you is some of the characters they see in you. Why do you think people don't go to church? There are some people that don't go to church and they are very successful. You know why? Because the, the drama of the church is even enough for them to be tired. Hello? The drama in a church is even too much. Some people that don't even know how to cook at home, they come to church, they want to be the best cook. You know what? That is what the Bible says. Before you even talk to your neighbor, watch yourself. Have you been able to take one the log out of your eyes before you are taking away the pinch in your neighbor's face? The church of God today is becoming too fake. And by the grace of God, word of love Bible ministry will make a difference. So we have to get to the point that we are realistic. We tell ourselves the truth. The Bible said you will know the truth and the truth will make you out free. We are not free today because we are allergic to the truth. And I want you to understand that anything called truth is not sweet, it's bitter. When you see people pampering you every day, they, uh, they are giving you diabetes spiritually. So I, by the grace of God, I will not tell you what you want to hear. I will tell you what you're supposed to hear. Hello, you're angry? Put your hands together for me if you're not angry. <laughs> I will not tell you what you want to hear. I will tell you what you're supposed to hear. It is better we are not friends than for us to be friends and there is no result in you. Light beget light. I don't know if I'm talking to you. Light beget light. Tell me your friend. Immediately, I will tell you who you are. Luke chapter 1. Are you there? Luke chapter 1 from 35 to 37. Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1 from 35 to 37. And the angel of the Lord answered and said unto her, uh -huh. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power of the high most will rest overshadow you. Oh my God. Who what? The power of the high, highest. Uh -huh. The power of the highest. That means there are some realms of the highest. The power of the highest will do what? We overshadow you. We overshadow. That means we brood over you. We stand a cover over you. Uh -huh. Therefore, uh -huh. also, that holy one who is to be born. The only the one which is what? Which is to be born. To be born. Will be called the son of God. Will be called the son of God. Uh -huh. Now indeed, mm -hmm. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, your relatives, uh -huh. has also conceived a son uh -huh. in her old age. Uh -huh. And this is now to the sixth month uh -huh. for her who was called barren. For her who was called the name that you were called before. If you are able to say a lot of me, you might be buried financially. You might be buried maritally. You might be buried anyhow you'll be buried. As you are leaving this place today, I that barrenness to dry up. I cause that barrenness to dry up. Amen. Raise up your hands and say, I am not barren. I am not barren. Okay, what? Uh -huh. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Uh -huh. 
Then Mary said, uh, Behold, uh, my servant of the Lord, uh, let it be to me according to your word. Let it be to me according to your word. According to your word. And the angel departed for And now. the angel departed. Now listen. Today we are talking about God of possibility. He said, For men, it is not possible. I want us to understand that miracles and testimonies are different. There is a difference between miracle and testimony. Testi testimony, you are testifying the goodness of God. What God has done for you. That miracle are those unfathomable things that people never believe can come to you and God brings it to you. He said for men, it is not possible. Men cannot think that this will happen to you. Ladies and gentlemen, you know already, they've already written you out. They've already think that nothing good will come out from you. They ask, they said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? I want you to understand that every good and perfect result comes out from the womb of failure. Comes out from the womb of failure. Successful people are S failures listen if you've not failed you will not understand the taste of sources it is a crime listen when you see people that was there before and come down don't laugh at them you know we live in the world why we think that everything is permanent no position is permanent Nothing in life is permanent. But the only thing that is permanent is God. He said for men, it is impossible. He said, but not with God. For with God, all, it is a son. All is possible. The listen, lady, I don't care about the report that the doctor has given to you. I don't care about the immigration. Is it not human being? Who gave them the right? Who gave them the audacity to dictate the pace of your stability in any country? I don't care to brother say, oh, you are on this list. You are on that list. You have five blood. When they say you have five blood, tell them you have fine boy. <laughs> Who told you you will not have a child? The Bible said barren will not live in the land. So if the Bible said barren will not live in the land, and you want to change God's protocol, he honor his word more than his name. He said, Which report will you believe? It's God of He said, For men it is impossible. He said, but Not with God. For with God, all things are possible. God is the only one that can take you from nothing to something. God don't need anybody to talk to before he endorses you for success. My brother in the Lord, I just want you to know that you are here today, you are going through one situation or the other. People are laughing at you or they are saying different things. Relax. Your time is coming. When your time come, ah, when your time come, the Bible says everything has its own time and season. The time to be born and the time to die. The time to be happy and the time to cry. If the Bible recognizes that there is a time to cry, why are you afraid to cry? The Bible said our time is time to be happy and the time to weep. So why do you think everything will just be good? It's not all that glinters that are good. You know the problem we have? We compare ourselves with each other. Comparison. We judge people by what they are wearing. What they are doing inside do you know now listen ladies and gentlemen if I didn't tell you that I have not eaten will you know okay if I told you that I just took Siri is it Siri is it correct Syria okay don't worry anyhow you call it is it really really understand the matter of understanding Abby now if I tell you that that is what I've taken this morning, do you were you there? But you know what? We want to size ourselves with others, knowing fully that the destiny of Minister BC is different from the destiny of Sister Gladys, though they are putting on red and a touch of black. You can be we can be doing things together, but our destinies are not together. The Bible says 
you he didn't say we he said you were created he didn't say we he said you were created in the image and likeness of god i want you to understand that even identical twins they don't have identical destiny when it comes to arranging sources god is different when god was about to bless Ephraim and manasseh the bible said even when their father tried to change the order god changed the protocol these are two brothers that the bible has already said the younger one he has already said the elder one will serve the eldest sorry the eldest will serve the youngest now even when their father tried to change the bible said god changed his hand their father was not happy their father said okay i'm their father now god has said it even when he was trying to go like this but god changed it like this the younger still serve, uh, the, the, the eldest still serve the youngest destiny that's how god has destined you believe in what god has said he is god of all possibility he can do all things through christ who strengthens me your strength is in christ not in the crisis that the reason we fail we put our strength in the crisis and we forget christ and the bible said if any man be in christ he's a new creature all things have passed away and everything becomes new but when you leave god and you now look at the crisis then all you see is crisis every day we tell people how big is our problem but we don't tell our problem how big is our god you celebrate your problem listen ladies and gentlemen fyi the way they say it in this country the people you tell about yourself they are all laughing at you Ooh, they are laughing at you in fact they are the rumor mongers the people you said you know you are my confidant a confidant has a confidant mm. every best friend has a best friend mm. I don't want to tell you uh, don't say it uh, what I want to tell you she said I should not say you know that you know some people want to gossip they feel as if they are they are they pity you they want to gossip or they want to draw a line of gossip they behave as if they pity you somebody I was driving yesterday somebody called me how are you everything is okay how is everything okay man. god bless you the case of god okay everything is okay it is well with you um i said it is okay he did i've already guy with that it is okay what do you want to know what food do you put in the pot that you want to open some people think they, they, they make you feel they concerned about you they want to know your business stretch out your right hand oh, i prophesy to your life in where the name of labor. jesus where you've not labor where you've not labor where you've not labor i said go and read it's telling you the situation you are going through that is a mountain that have a faith as small as a mustard seed i will decree a thing oh, and it shall jesus. be established yes aha 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 recover amen. 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 amen it's not about your age it's not about your size the experience is what matters listen ladies and gentlemen mind who you speak to believe in god is a god of possibility men cannot wipe away your tears it's only God that can wipe away your tears. Men cannot give you permanent result. It's only God that can give you result. So if your result is not in his hand, if your result is not in a hand, then why are you writing an exam with him? I don't need to write my exam with you if my result is not in your hand. I only write an exam with my God. He's the one that will examine me. So why are you writing an exam in the wrong place? If you write an exam in the wrong place, you have a wrong answer some people die for imitation i want to be like my friend who are you there's that god has destined us god you see what you will go through in life nobody can stop it 
everything that we, what happened to Peter can never happen to Paul. That is why it's God. There were so many sick people close to the river of Bethsaida. But there is a season the water needs to shake for that one. It was not for everybody. Some that came to meet him, they got their healing before him. It's not how far, it's how well. Listen, everybody has children. You don't have yours now. That does not mean you will not have a child. I want you to understand that Penana has so many children. Abby, that she will be angry when even the even when Sarah, Abby, Anna, even when Anna send any of her any of her child errand, you will be angry. But you know what? By the grace of God, Pin Anna and his children, they didn't occupy more than one chapter. <laughs> but the only son of Anna, I don't want to mention all. The only son of Anna, the first one, as first and second. It's not all about our well. It's not all about what they say. It's not all about what is going on. But we serve a God of, of possibility. He said, for men, it is impossible. He said, but not for God. For with God, all things are what? Possible. So if God says all things are possible, not for men, why are you locking up to men? Stop it. Why are you lock? He said, for men, it is not possible. He said, before we God, why don't you go back to God, the author and the finisher of your faith. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, no matter what is going on with you, no matter the, the situation, take it up to God. There is one man that will never fail you. There is one man that even when you fail, he will not fail you. When you disappoint him, he will not disappoint you. He's a covenant keeping God. He's the husband to those that don't have husband. He's the wife to those that don't have wives. He's the father of the fatherless. He's the mother of the motherless. He's the husband to the widow. The I am that I am. The conqueror of the dead tribe of Judah. The one that is and is to come. The beginning and the end. David says in his word, he said, where will my help come from? He said, my help will come from God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. Some trust in shadows, some trust in horses. Ah, oh, but when we remember the name of the Lord, they are fallen and we are risen. The Bible told me that upon my Zion, they shall be deliverance. Ah. God is too faithful. Things to note before I round off. I want you to take note of this. One, anything is possible with God. Anything is possible with God. Your health is possible. Doctors, they read it in book and they apply it. Is it all about application? It's all about application. But there's the one that taught the application. It's the God of the application that will teach them how to apply it. I want you to understand a good doctor will tell you that all they do, they just apply the treatment, but it's God that heals. Don't you know there are some people, no matter how small is the illness, medication don't work. Yeah. There are some people medication don't work. That same medication is God that created it. So a good doctor takes all his qualification to God. My parents were busy spending money. I don't in fact I won't part of that I, I guess God knows the reason. Probably that is why God even let me practice. Part of it is Shakara guy. I want to be a duck. You know, vet, when we are, when we are, when we are putting a, we, we use a green, um, green uh, lab coat. <laughs> with a tie, with a lab coat. Duck! Ducky! We carry a book we are not reading. How many of you did that when you were in high school? Ababio and Abbott, because they're very big, you carry it. You can't read it. 
It's all about application. But there's one man that don't need application. There is one man that is touch. He has all the operation departments in his hand. If you are sick, all you need to God is to seek his revelation. It touches you. You know, it changes womb without tearing you. You see, our God is so powerful that he brings the dead to life. Why? Because he created death, both death and life. All he does is command. Death, leave that person. And the person wake up. So why are you running on to men? Run on to God. That can rescue you. That can take you out. In the midst of that your pain. Listen, don't try. I tell you every day, don't be in the good record of people. When you try to be in the good record of people, you are a failure. Because you disappointed God. Let your name be in the good record of God. When you stand well with God, God will force men to stand by you. He said, when you are at peace with me, he said, I make men. That's what the Bible said, I force men. I force men. Ah! Your enemy, exactly. Even your enemy. That's what the Bible says. Even I force them to be at peace with you. But we are always, we are always changing it. Oh, look, she just passed through me. Look at the way she looked at me. And so what? Why do you care? He just passed through me. He didn't even say I. And so what? Can't you look at yourself and say, I? Look at yourself and greet yourself. Don't let anybody look at you to demoralize you. If they look at you, you look at them. You don't you have eyes? You look me, you eye me, I look you, I eye you. Don't let them detect the pace of your life. You look at me anyhow, I look at you anyhow, and so. I didn't say be a troublemaker. But look me, I look you. God, not the best. Anything is possible with God. And nothing is possible without God. Nothing is possible without God. Point number two. God dwells in the realm of all possibility. He's a God of all possibility. He says, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. He said, every order will be what? Added unto you. It dwells in the realm of all possibility. So in the sight of God, your life is possible. Everything that you are going through, God can change it. The Bible says, when the Lord restored the captivity of Zion, he said they will walk like them that dream it. Why do you think they were like them that dream it? Because already they gave up on themselves. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, you might have given up on yourself or people gave up on you. I came to prophesy to your life. If I be a prophet of God within the next 24 hours, I said, God will rewrite their decision. Oh my God, your amen is not helping me. I said, God will rewrite their decision. Amen. God will rewrite their decision. Amen. God will rewrite their decision. Amen. Look at your neighbor say, God of possibility. Look at another person say, God of possibility. If your neighbor is not trying to talk to you, force your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. I serve a God. I serve a God. Of possibility. Of possibility. Look at another person by your side again. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. I serve a God. I serve a God. Of possibility. Of possibility. If you believe, say yes. Yeah. Say yes. Yeah. Say yes. Stretch out your right hand. Oh, I prophesy to your life. Where in the name of labor. Jesus. Where you've not labor. Where you've not labor. Where you've not labor. I said, go and read. He's telling you the situation you are going through. That is a mountain. Then I have a faith as small as a mustard seed. I will decree a thing. And it shall be established. Yes. Recover. Amen. It's not about your age. It's not about your size. The experience is what matters.